Shalom. Five years ago, I made a video for Shavua Tov at Shechter about the weekly portion of Pinchas, in which I asked, was Pinchas a person who was zealous for God, a good guy, or was he a zealot, a bad guy? The Torah itself and the books of Psalms, Ezra, Ben Sira, the first book of Maccabees, Josephus, Philo, and most of the sages in rabbinic literature thought that Pinchas was a good guy. The people were worshiping idols. A Jewish leader had sexual relations with a Midianite leader as part of their idol worship. God sent a plague. Pinchas saw that no one had the courage to do anything. He killed the two leaders and the plague stopped immediately. God then praises Pinchas and gives him Brit Shalom, a covenant of peace, and Brit Kunat Olam, a covenant of the priesthood forever. In other words, in the opinion of the Torah and all of these commentators, Pinchas was zealous for God, but not a zealot. On June 20th, four innocent Israelis were killed by terrorists at the settlement of Eli. Our hearts go out to their families and to the families of a total of 20 Israelis who have been murdered by terrorists in the first half of 2023. We hope and pray that the IDF will capture every single terrorist. Unfortunately, over the next few days after that attack, large numbers of settlers attacked at least three Arab villages, especially Turmus Aya, where they burned at least 15 houses, 20 cars, and many fields. If you ask them, they would probably tell you that they are Kanaim, zealous, like Pinchas. I would like to explain why this is totally false. They are not zealous, rather they are zealots. Pinchas killed two specific people in order to stop a plague. The settlers who attacked at least three Arab villages and burned many houses and cars and fields transgressed at least four basic Jewish principles or mitzvot. The first is found in Pirkei Avot, chapter 3, in the, in the mouth of Rabbi Akiva, Chaviv adam shenivra betzelem, chiba yetera nodad lo shenivra betzelem, shenemar ki betzelem Elohim barayet ha'adam. Beloved is Adam, which means man, who was created in the image of God. As it is written, in the image of God, he made man, Adam. All human beings are made in the image of God, not just Jews. It's totally immoral to attack innocent men, women, and children, regardless of their religion. The second principle which they transgressed, or mitzvah, is Chilul Hashem, the desecration of God's name. We read in Vayikra chapter 22, you shall not desecrate my holy name. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. We learn from this verse two mitzvot. Kiddush Hashem, to sanctify God's name, and not to do chilul Hashem, not to desecrate God's name. This type of senseless activity desecrates God's name in the eyes of the world. The third principle is found in the famous story of Hillel and the convert who wanted to be converted on one foot, uh, to learn something basic about Judaism on one foot. And Hillel says to him, He says, what is hateful to you, do not do unto others. This is the entire Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. For 1900 years, Jews were persecuted by non-Jews, pogroms, blood libels, expulsions. Now that we have our own sovereign state, and we are the majority, God forbid that we should persecute minorities or carry out pogroms. What is hateful to us, we should not do to others. And finally, there is the subject in Judaism of nekama or vengeance. The word nekama appears 44 times in the Bible. In most of those verses, it says that God will take vengeance on evildoers or on evil nations. As for human beings, it says in Vayikra chapter 19, Lo tikom velotitor et bene amecha. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your people. And if you say that this only applies to Jews, well then listen to this verse from Mishle, Proverbs chapter 24. Al tomar asher asali ken eselo, do not say, I will do to him what he did to me. I will pay the man what he deserves. Now, this verse is part of the wisdom literature, part of Mishle. The wisdom literature does not just address Jews. The wisdom literature in the Bible addresses all human beings. 
And finally, we have the saying of Rab Papa, found in the Tractate of Sanhedrin, Folio 102b, and he loved Aramaic uh, folk sayings. Hainu da amre inche de farakine mahariv bete. He who takes revenge destroys his own house. The settlers who rampage through Arab villages and burn houses and cards and fields are not zealous for God like Pinchas. They are zealots who desecrate God's name. The State of Israel and the IDF must do everything possible to prevent this type of behavior so that one day we will have, like Pinchas, Brit Shalom, a covenant of peace. Shavua Tov from Shechter.